what is AIDS? So AIDS is an human uh, immunodeficiency virus. So it um, basically attacks the uh, cells that are to protect you from other like viruses or infections. So A lot of people wonder where AIDS came from or the HIV came from and it's thought to have come from Africa in central West Africa where uh, chimpanzees actually carried the disease so a lot of people think that hunters and um, those who consumed chimpanzees were then getting the disease because they had a similar uh, DNA makeup. So the AIDS epidemic started in 1981, however there is a case in 1969 that is thought to be um, also AIDS related, but uh, most people know it, the AIDS epidemic, to have occurred in the 1980s. By 1983, um, 2,000 people, over 2,000 people had died in the U.S. Um, from AIDS. At this point in 1985, um, 5, 000, over 5,000 people had died from the AIDS epidemic. So HIVs can be actually transmitted, it's a sexually transmitted disease, but it can be transmitted through breast milk from mothers that have HIVs or even um, dirty needles. So people that are drug users, if they were to reuse a needle from someone who is HIV positive and they don't know, um, they can then contract the disease. So the people, US citizens as a whole, were very concerned with this. Um, and they even called it the gay plague or gay cancer um, because it was mostly common among uh, homosexual men. And there were people who did not want to even touch people that had HIVs or AIDS and um, in fear of catching it um, because it was thought to have come from just physical contact, um, but which we now know is uh, it's a sexually transmitted disease. There was a situation where a man um, was transported to the hospital in an ambulance um, and when it was discovered that he had AIDS, um, they decided to burn the ambulance because they didn't want anyone else being at risk of catching AIDS. And during these times, there were ads going out um, promoting safe sex um, and the use of condoms. However, that's not going to stop, say, um, contracting HIVs from dirty needles. You also had public outcry and protests um, about the AIDS epidemic. So current president Ronald Reagan um, was silent uh, during the AIDS epidemic. Um, he didn't want to speak about it. And the theory, I mean, it could be because he was uh, such a conservative um, person back in the day. So uh, a topic that's about gay people isn't going to be one of your top concerns when you are conservative. Um, in 1990, he did officially apologize for his neglect on um, the topic, the situation in general. Um, however, thousands of people died and the government wasn't willing to admit to that. At some point, you have to wonder like, when's the last straw? When are they gonna actually speak up about the situation? So 1985, was the first time that the president had actually uh, mentioned the AIDS epidemic in public. So that was four years after um, the first few people uh, died from AIDS. And uh, so at this point, there were thousands of people dead from the AIDS epidemic. And it took Ronald Reagan four years to even speak about the topic in public. In 1985, um, there was a test uh, to finally test um, people to see if they were uh, HIV positive and or AIDS. So what are the after effects of the AIDS epidemic that occurred in 1980? Um, to this day, 35 million people have died from AIDS. In 2015, over half a million people in the U.S. were dead from AIDS. Each year currently, the government spends billions of dollars to help uh, stop AIDS. Um, so although it's not 
as common in the U.S. anymore. Um, it still is common in Africa, so the U.S. is um, spending billions of dollars to help the, the U.S. and other countries around, specifically Africa. Another thing that I want to talk about is the images that were taken um, during the AIDS epidemic, and they're heart-wrenching. People were dying and they were photographers that they had um, that were capturing these moments, these last breaths, these uh, family situations. To this day though, uh, there are places where you can exchange dirty needles for clean needles. And although this might be seen as like promoting um, drug use, it's, it's slowing down the, the risk of HIV positive people. And not only was AIDS occurring in the US, but it's also occurring in all these other countries. Um, it's spreading rapidly. Uh, and to this day, Africa is still one of the countries that is suffering the most from the AIDS epidemic.